The first thing you need to do in order to become productive is to have a good terminal. During the course, we will be working mostly in the command line, which means that the primary piece of software we will be using is our terminal. A great terminal that we recommend is called Terminator, which can be installed from the software center. Let's go to our launcher and click on the software center icon. After it opens, click on the search input and write Terminator. It will probably be the first in the list of results. Then click install. After installing, it's a good idea to drag its icon to the launcher. For this, you just open the dash by hitting the Windows key, write Terminator and drag and drop its icon to the launcher. All right, now let's click on the icon to get started. I'll maximize the window to have more space to play around. And what you're actually seeing right now are the default settings. Let's go into the preferences menu and see what we can update. First of all, let's hide the title bar because it doesn't bring us that much information and it's always a good idea to have as much free space as possible and with as few distractions as possible. Now let's look at some other preferences. Let's change the font. For our video, we will make it a bit larger than usual so that it is easy to read. Let's go with monospace 16. You also want to have good contrast so that it's easy to distinguish the letters. And for this video, we will choose a black and white color theme. It's also a good idea to enable infinite scroll because you don't want your terminal output to be trimmed after the 500th line. A lot of times you just want to scroll and see the previous output. Also, while scrolling, if there is a lot of text, you probably don't want to be brought back to the bottom of the page, so uncheck the scroll on output option. And voila! This is our newly configured terminal. Now let's look at some of its useful features and their keyboard shortcuts. Split screen. Ctrl Shift O for horizontal split, Ctrl Shift E for vertical split. This is probably the coolest feature of Terminator and the one we will be using the most. A lot of times it is really helpful to see multiple panes and to easily switch between them. You can split the screen any number of times in any combination you want. Resize screen with Ctrl Shift Arrow or just drag and drop. Easily move between windows with Ctrl Arrow. Close screen using Ctrl Shift W or Ctrl D. Create tabs with Ctrl Shift T. This is for when you don't have any more space to split the screen. Text zoom with Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus, which is useful for when you need to present or when you have a person with bad sight. Near you, of course, you're never a person with bad sight, wearing glasses and everything. As we said, being able to divide the screen in order to arrange the terminal in a grid and being able to split, switch and resize panes with keyboard shortcuts are the biggest advantages of Terminator. One big productivity killer that a lot of people don't realize is switching between using a mouse and using the keyboard. And although most people prefer using the mouse, we suggest using the keyboard as much as possible and learning the keyboard shortcuts of your commonly used computer programs. Being productive ultimately means having more time to focus on the things that are really important instead of wasting time struggling to use the computer. Hasta la vista, Terminal. Welcome, Terminator.